Hello, this is Christina from Catalyst. Today I'm going to show you a few things in Matomo, the open source web analytics site. A lot of you might have known Matomo previously as PWIC and the Matomo team rebranded at the beginning of the new year. And now we have a new name for the web analytics project that is well known around the world. Matomo means honesty in Japanese, and it is quite fitting for this analytics tool because um, it is transparent and being open source also open so that you can look at the source code, you can interrogate it, you can um, change it, and you also know what is going to happen with your data because you have full control over it. While Matomo is open, it is also secure because you control entirely who has access to the data that is being collected in your site. So the data does not go off to another country or is uh, looked at by another company. You have full control over um, everything in your web analytics site and therefore can also install it, for example, on your own infrastructure and ensure that all the necessary safeguards are made um, that you want to have in place to keep your data secure and also to keep your data in New Zealand. So the main reason why we are using a web analytics site um, is that we want to find out who is actually using our site. The, um, you do get a lot of uh, reporting already uh, from Totara, the learning management system. Uh, but not everything can be easily reported on in Totra or you can view it easily in the logs that Moodle collects. And that's when Matomo can come in. So I oftentimes see the um, analytics for a site not as a, uh, not coming in through a single application like Matomo, but also a combination of um, logs and reports from the LMS and then being enhanced by the data that we collect and also analyze through the analytics site. So who is it who is using your site? Um, we don't really need to know um, so much about the infrastructure where it is hosted on a day-to-day -day basis or how frequently updates are made and such, but we really want to know what is happening in the learning management system. What is happening with our users? How are they using the site? Um, which courses do they look at most? Um, and in general, which content do they engage in, engage with most? So that's why I think um, web analytics can help us um, in finding out that. And so one of the questions that Matomo can answer is where are the people from that uh, use our site? Uh, you can find that out um, based in just via information from tables that you can export, but you can also have a visual overview um, by using a map. And in this case here, you see the world map, but you can definitely also drill further down into the countries themselves and then go deeper until you come uh, to the cities. Now, oftentimes we also want to know when we can start a campaign or when people are on the site so that we can reach them. Well, Matomo gives you that information. When is actually a good time for a campaign or when is it a good time to send people an email and see that they are um, almost ideally immediately look at that content and go for a course or do some professional development? Well, for this site here, as an example, a good, very good time would be around morning tea, uh, because that is when there is a pike in usage. We also have another um, pike, uh, spike around um, early afternoon. Uh, after lunch, maybe people are still kind of a bit sluggish getting back into to work and therefore might be looking on the lear learning management system side of things and see if they can do some PD and learn a bit before going back to their emails. Besides just finding out what time of day your site is mostly used, you can also find out what busy and quiet days there are. Here in this example, I highlighted the Sundays, 
So there's a noticeable dip in the usage. So it would not really be helpful if you um, sent out an email asking people to check out a new course on Friday, uh, Friday afternoon or even Friday evening, because most likely nobody's going to look at it until early the following week. And then your email might be buried amongst all the others that have come in over the weekend, therefore not really giving people the chance to check out your new content. As we can see here from this graph, um, the spikes are Tuesday, Wednesday and kind of already going down a bit again on Thursday. So sending out an email Monday or Tuesday would probably be a good time in order to engage people. Uh, also sending out reminders about uh, courses or course completions and activities that people should be doing. Another question that we can answer why web analytics, especially in the government sector, is, is IE9 still a thing? Um, because a lot for, for a number of years uh, that in browser was still supported, but web technology has moved on. And now with web analytics, you can actually check which browser versions are in use and current, are currently in use amongst the people who are visiting your site so that you can also tailor your offering. If you know that uh, most people use Chrome or Firefox, then you know that um, testing, for example, should also be done in these browsers rather than a less used one. And as we can see here from this page, um, IE9 is definitely not a thing in our case anymore, uh, but definitely check out the analytics for your own site to find out. What I like very much about Matomo is that you can see where people came from and then where they are going to after they've had an engagement on a, a particular page. So you can find out those entry pages into a page that you're interested in and look at internal pages, internal search. So if you have a search box on your site, then that can be captured. Or if people come from a search engine. Then in this case here highlighted, we have um, if they are coming from another website. And in our case here for demo.mahara.org, you can see that the majority of people who end up on the demo site actually come from mahara.org itself, um, that is the community site, but also a good number uh, comes from sysadmin.in.th. And so we can look at that page and see why there is a link to the demo site. And then also a number of other uh, courses by the looks of it and a particular page on Mahara itself. And others are classed together because they are not as frequently used. They are also direct entries. So a, a very good number of those is just by people typing in demo.maha.org and end up on that page. Sometimes you don't just want to know where people are coming from, but also where they are going to after they have been on the page. And so again, we can have internal pages and then we can also link to other sites um, and see where they are heading off to. And so in this case, 43% of people who end up on demo.maha.org um, go to the go to manual.maha.org from the pages that um, where they leave the page immediately and don't stay on the site. Um, but the majority of people continue on the site, namely to one of the internal pages. And so this gives you insight into um, what people are doing on the page for, uh, on, on the site for a particular page so that you can also see, well, what links to this page? Um, maybe also where are people leading off to? Do you want to change that behavior? And therefore change things around on your website in order to draw attention to specific internal or external links. And besides just knowing that kind of in a statistical view, Sometimes it would also be really nice just to know what individual people are doing on the site. 
So Matomo does have the visitor profile, which is a fantastic feature, but in a way could also be a little bit creepy, especially because you could pop in a user photo and also give that person a name if you use the API. Um, but the nice, really nice thing about this visitor profile is that you can check what a particular person has been doing on your site over time. So in this case, this person from Germany visited um, the, the site uh, four times and we can see the individual pages that they have been on and the actions that they have taken and for how long they have been on the site. And therefore we gain a bit more insight of what they had been interested in. If you are interested in using this feature, you may want to pop something into the uh, privacy statement in order to, to let people know that you're tracking visits um, through a web analytics tool and um, just make people a bit more aware of that. Um, one can prevent the tracking of um, one's own visits to a site by having an extension in the browser that allows um, to say do not track and Matomo does respect those settings and there are also some um, additional configuration parameters that can be set in Matomo itself in order to respect more privacy um, for the people that are using the site. Besides just finding out what people are currently doing, especially when we look at learning, we also want to know are people actually coming back to the learning? Do they just go to the site once or multiple times? So Matomo does give you statistics around that. And every statistic that you look at in Matomo, you can slice and dice according to your needs. So you can um, choose a particular time frame, be that a day, a week, a month, a year or longer. And you can also report over a subset of the people that um, visit your site. So if you only want to look at your staff within the L&D team, then you can um, do that, but especially if everybody is accessing the site via the IP address of your organization. Uh, or you can exclude all your own visits by excluding your organization's IP address, especially if you deal with externals or with staff that are not in, in the head office and therefore can see more easily um, who is actually using the site and how much and are they coming back. We've had the, the comment come up that uh, Matomo can be rather difficult to use and that is I find partly due to the fact that there is so much functionality in there and uh, that of course it is very rich and allows you to do so much reporting and analytics for your site that at first glance it can be a bit overwhelming trying to find where everything is. The nice thing is though that you can sometimes um, prevent going to the site when you schedule reports or set alerts and just have the data come to you. So you can schedule a report for once a week or once every month um, that is then being sent on the specific criteria that you define in your report. And you can also set an alert. So if you just started a campaign for a new course or introduced a new module and you want to be alerted via email every time that a person um, signed up for the course or clicked a particular link, then you can have those alerts sent to you via email. Sure, that can be a bit overwhelming at times, but it can also be quite satisfying, especially on the day or the day after you started a campaign in order to see that people are interested in what you have been putting out. There is much more available on Matomo. Um, for example, via premium plugins um, that we oftentimes have directly installed on Catalyst Analytics. Um, if you are a client of uh, Catalyst, for example, then you have access to that site. And so a few of these uh, features I want to show to you very briefly now. One is heat maps. The question about them came up earlier. And while heat maps is not a traditional uh, web analytics tool, 
Mat the Matomo team created heat maps that you can immediately access from within the um, analytics site in order to find out how people are using your site, where they are clicking primarily, how they are moving their mouse and also where they are scrolling. And the nice thing is that you can view those heat maps um, based on the visits through a regular computer via tablet and also mobile in order to see how that behavior changes according to the changes of the uh, size of the screen. And so these heat maps can be acted can be activated very easily um, directly for your site and um, then you can have results come in. You can also have actual sessions recorded of what people are doing on your site and how they are moving from one page to another. For both heat maps and session recording, um, it might be a good idea to not have that done on a constant basis, but let your people know or ask them if they want to participate in a UX research so that they know that all of their sessions are being recorded. Because as you can see on this screen here, um, we see where somebody moved their mouse and um, where they clicked, where they scrolled, and also if they were a form, what they put in and when, a, when there's a page change. Because it records everything that is being done on that particular web page. And we can record a session across multiple pages, which is a very powerful tool when designing learning and also trying to find out um, where placements of elements might be most effective. But it can also be uh, quite intrusive if you just have it run all the time. Therefore, use it as an experiment and make it available um, when needed and then invite people to use it on your site. There are many, many more um, premium plugins available that support your usage. For example, you can analyze media um, more closely. You can have roll-up reporting so that you can combine the reporting over several um, sites. You can also hook up um, single sign-on, allowing people to log in with the same username and password that they use on, on your regular site and so on. A lot of those premium plugins are installed on Catalyst Analytics so that those of you whom we host have immediate access to them. And otherwise, um, you can purchase these premium plugins for your own use on your own Matomo site. Now, in the beginning, I said that um, oftentimes it is not enough to just look at the web analytics, but that we also need to look at the total logs and reports a lot of times. And so this picture kind of really signifies what I mean by that. So we, we are all looking at the same set of data, which is the big ocean, the big blue ocean here. But depending on which beach chair you sit, you have a slightly different view of that data. So on the left one, you have a view that goes more towards the west, whereas in the right one, you look more towards the north and the east. And um, that is kind of the, the view of the data, depending on whether you look at it in Matomo, then you have a slightly different view, or whether you look it through the lens of uh, Totara and gain more insight into that part of the ocean. But combining both views gives you the grand picture and allows you to be most flexible. And therefore, having those together will give you good insight into your data and into the what people are doing on your site. Because a lot of times, if you want to know about course completions or activity completions, it's easier to go into Totara for that because Matomo knows web pages and URLs but it doesn't really know whether a learner failed a course or whether it, um, they passed it. That is data that you can get out of um, Totara more easily. Now you can have your Matomo site hosted or use it on your own. 
if you're having it hosted, um, in this case, I'm talking about Catalyst Analytics, um, you can have all premium and plugins already available. And there is also a plugin for Totara um, that also exists for Moodle that automatically is um, installed on your site and therefore gives you immediate access into Matomo, um, in particular for site admins, so that you can start collecting data immediately. We also do all the security updates and the version upgrades, um, and you don't have to worry about any of um, those technical details. Besides all that, the data stays in New Zealand. You can have your Matomo also hosted with your with somebody else um, that does Matomo hosting, and then you ne would negotiate with them um, what sort of services are available and whether there are any extra plugins installed or not. Alternatively, of course, you can also always um, set up your Matomo site on your own server infrastructure, and that means that you then support it yourself or the, your IT department, and they would then take care of security updates, upgrades, and the installation of any additional features. Now, are you ready to navigate through your data? If you still have any questions, please feel free to contact me or contact any of my colleagues that you might already be working with. And we uh, would be happy to support you in getting more out of your data and look at whether we can get that information more easily from Matomo or from Totara. In order to get anything out of the system, we first need to put things in. So if you do want to collect data, activate Matomo or have it installed and hooked into your learning management system site so that the data collection can happen because only once you have data collected can you report over it and therefore have something available to look at and then ponder how you want to change representing something on your website in order to have better engagement and um, maybe also more engagement and better results um, for the content that you're providing your learners.